Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. And let me tell you something. Katie's back, baby. She's on day seven of a 12-day lyric uh, salute to some of her former cast members on her season of The Bachelorette. And uh, on the seventh day, the Lord rested. Meanwhile, Katie kept going, baby. Let's go. Let's get into it. All right. I'm going to share for you what she had to say about Michael A., her seventh guy. We've reported on some of the guys. Some are saucier than others. Some are full of tea. As you guys know, I have a tea button. Someone told me they didn't like the tea button. They said it's too annoying. But I have a truck that we just back up whenever there's tea to bring in. Load them up, boys. Straight on back. Dump the tea off. Too much tea? Okay, just load it up. They didn't like these sound bites. What do you guys think? Do you want a spot of tea? Do you like these? I do. I mean, and then the last one, someone said they didn't like this. This is from a caller that called in. This isn't just a random oh clip. Oh, my God. It's from a caller that called in who was uh, actually annoyed at Jamie when he was the villain. Remember Jamie? And she was like, oh, my God. But some people don't like. I'll let you guys decide in the comment section. Do you like these sound beds or not? Let me know what you guys think. Do me a favor. Follow me on Instagram at Neals, And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button because we're heating up, folks. We got a ton of content. Next week, I'm going to be in Disney World. I'll be doing some live recaps and breaking news from Disney World. In the meantime, let's get into this. Katie Thurston, you are up. Let's hear what you have to say about Michael. You guys are waiting for certain people during this talk. Messy. I'm here to tell you that Michael is tomorrow. I'm not ready for this. Whoa! I mean, I took that, by the way, as a very emotional moment. Now, we can't play the full audio to this because we'll get kicked offline. So this is um, Taylor Swift's song. I'm going to play the co a cover of this, brought to you by Cillin Anderson. Everyone go give her a follow on Instagram. Uh, I'm sorry, on YouTube right there. She's almost at 10,000 subscribers. This is called I Almost Do. This is the lyric that Katie posted. Played by Cillin. I was in band. What do you guys think about that? You guys think like, like my falsetto? Me neither. All right, folks. So that's her 12th day of Messi. Uh, pretty big on the lyrics. I mean, we got them right here. These are the lyrics. And I just want to tell you, it takes everything in me not to call you. And I wish I could run to you. And I hope you know that every time I don't, I almost do. Okay, I really butchered that song. Boy, Taylor Swift is literally rolling around in her mansion. Right? She's like, yikes, what's going on on that power recap or tone deaf? Hey, that's why we recap. It's comedy. We laugh because we can't cry. All right. So that's, I mean, does she want him back or not? Now, we know how this story ended. Obviously, he left the show, so she never probably got the closure she wanted. She wasn't in control. He left the show. Oh, whoops. I hit the wrong button there. Sorry about that. Wow. And um, we're not done yet. Uh, neither is Michael, apparently, or Katie. Uh, she left the, he left the show because he's got a kid, and he just felt like he was, uh, he was, he just felt that, the, that, paternal instinct that he said i need to go back to the kid and you know kudos to him you know and in the moment he felt that and he had to go maybe you know um uh, if if he was ever the bachelor maybe the kid would be with him or he'd go into the midwest and do it and um you know you know run his season near the because uh, those are the rumors of course we don't know if it's true or not we don't know anything what's going on later in 2022 uh who's going to be the next bachelor but obviously michael has always been a top consideration from people so this happened, and I wouldn't call it X-rated. Bachelorette's Michael A. post and deletes X-rated comment under Katie Thurston's lingerie photo despite quitting the show. 36-year-old Michael, there he is. And so she posts this beautiful lingerie. Of course, she got hate for it because Bachelor fans are all over the map. They're all over the map. Oh, my God. Sear my eyes closed. I can't believe she's got black lingerie on. Adios mios. You know what I mean? It's like, come on, get over yourself, Cheryl. All right, so he wrote, can't say what I'd like to. 
dot, dot, dot. The father of one wrote alongside flame and shocked face emojis. Yeah. Fire, fire, fire. Wah, wah. You know what I mean? And then um, he wrote, uh, and he also shared his appreciation for a shot of the bachelorette wearing a silky green dress while sitting on a chair with her legs crossed. Green is your color. Am I right, people? Whoa. So I don't know. As far as the thirst of Michael goes, was it uh, harmless or was he... Uh, you know, apparently after their season ends, they're not supposed to communicate with each other. So maybe that was his way of communicating with her. Although you have to think if like, if you want to DM with someone, go for it. Blake responds to Michael's flirty comments to Katie Thurston several months ago. Of course, Blake and Katie have since broken up RIP to their relationship. Although we're very happy for them. We're very happy for them. Just when it seemed like Katie Thurston and fiance Blake Moynes could finally take it easy. One of Katie's former bachelorette contestants comes in and shakes things up. So, uh, so, okay, here's the comment he said. And then Blake's response. I mean, I chuckle at it says Blake on the comment in an August 10th interview with access. Listen, what I can chalk it up to is just assuming he was hoping or thinking that she was potentially single. Otherwise it's kind of a shady move. So let's just assume that he didn't think she was with anybody, which, you know, we watched this all play out and it's hard for us to understand. How could somebody, how could he not know that she's with him? Like, don't they all know who ends up with who? I mean, I knew who she ended up with. So it makes you wonder how could he not, but you know, I don't know. Maybe there's rumors. I, after we watched the Peter Weber debacle, and debacle is a nice way to put it, uh, go, shake down, if you will, um, we, we realized there's a lot of moving parts that happen to it. It's like, yes, you pick your final person. Yes, you get engaged. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, and there ain't much you can do about it. So let's go to Blake. Let's give Blake a shout out here because Blake's been pretty quiet other than a couple statements. He's been uh, promoting his charities here, but he's got some good charities going on. I wanted to share one of them with you. Here we go. It's cold outside. It's fall heading into winter. I nice switch here. Find me working on my computer head to toe in fleece. This is actually all Tentry hoodies, sweats, and even this cap. There's a reason I go with Tentry. We know how passion I am about wildlife and the environment and how it's important to give back. And Ten Tree does that with each purchase. Of they plant 10 trees. Oh, get it? The company's called 10 Tree, and then they plant 10 trees with every purchase. By the way, that sweatshirt looks really nice on him. My question here, and I've just, and this is this is this, this is more about me than anybody. I've never been able to pull off the hideaway socks. I don't know. Do I not have a strong enough heel? Maybe I've got like a weak heel, but I'm not able to gri get the sock grip up. If I were, if I were to, uh, you know, uh, have a contact at like Under Armour, I would ask that they make the. Um, let me get the the wand out here. I would ask that they make the uh, the rim of the sock in one of those kind of rubbery bra like uh, strap materials, so that way it grips right below. What the hell am I talking about? Who? You know what I mean? Sometimes we get lost here on specific. Specifics. All right. So right now, just on these products alone, I planted 30 trees, which is really cool. You can track that. Just for example, if you want to pass me this phone, my sister, I got her a gift for her birthday. Love the sister. Adorable. That top. New crop sweater. It's really comfortable. Cute. Really cute color. This is a size small for reference. Yeah. And so I the label and I can scan this label with my phone. So I stole her 10 trees and I registered them online and you can actually see here where I planted 220 trees. You can actually see here where I planted 220 trees and it shows you literally the impact of this little island that I have and how many mangrove trees I've planted. Party on that island. Really cool. You can keep track, right? So why not buy a product that gives back to the environment? There it is, folks. Buy a product. Go to 10 tree right it's there. No brainer, movement. and it should be for you too. So Blake, so and listen, listen, Katie's Katie's probably got an incredible uh, engagement, no pun intended, happening with her Instagram. People go, oh, she's losing Instagram followers. Um, Pilot Pete lost half a million. You know, you just when the season's over, the people that were following you to hear about your relationship when your relationship's over, sometimes they unfollow you. What's really important is your engagement and your your true close fans, and they're not going to leave Katie. And I think that's important to not be afraid if you're like one of these influencers influencers to like ruffle the feathers like sure it looks nice to hit the 1 million mark but you dip on you dip below it that's just how it works you know so 
Uh, 12 Days of Messy Michael. Let's read some of your comments. Wow, so Greg really getting better man or all too well, huh? I think he might get red. OMG, wait, I love that possibility. I, I love the Taylor Swift Bachelor Nation crossover that's happening. It's 12 Days of Messy, not 12 of literal self-demolition. I think most people have been overdramatic about some of the subtext for some of her choices, but doing anything but red for Greg would be fodder for people to really take their hate and dislike for her to another level. Greg is her Jake Gyllenhaal. So many songs in red could be his. Lyrics that she played on the story, and I wish I could run to you, and I hope you know that every time I don't, I almost do, I almost do. Five days left has to be Justin, Greg, Connor, John. Maybe Hunter, starting to really think she could be with John. Why can't I place who Connor is, the cat? Um, anyway, this is for one for the feels, the most heartfelt out of all of them. It was pretty clear that he was smitten with her, and her devastation when he felt when he left showed the depth of the feelings she had for him. It's kind of obvious that their lifestyles never would have lined up together, but that's what makes it, I think, something I'm sure she still looks back on to have those kind of feelings for someone and know that no matter the situation, it just won't be able to happen. Oof. Now. I don't see a scenario where it doesn't work. No, he's got a young child. Obviously, he doesn't want to move the child. Michael's uh, late wife was from all the Akron area along with him. Or, or re relative, you know, you got to be you got to be at least a three hour drive from the in laws. That that's my whole opinion. Listen, I live in so in Southern California. My fiance's from Kentucky. My family's from Rhode Island. We're not close to our in laws. We think about this when we think: Do we want children? And if we do, what do we do? How do we do? We get a a, a, a colossal uh, ranch with a guest house so we could fly our parents out to, you know, like we want, we want our families to be part of our lives. And that's the hard thing that you have to think about when you live far away. So obviously Michael, uh, if, if, if it was up to him, he could potentially move him and his son across the country, but he's got to look out for his late wife's parents and everyone else that's helped raise the kid. It's a tribe folks. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about these lyrics uh, do you think there's potential they would get back together? Or is it one of those love that is lost and you, know, you kind of still wish that it was still there? Let me know, folks. I'm going to do a live stream today at 2 p.m. to discuss all of the Peter Weber, Hannah Brown, Tyler Cameron, Madison Pruitt, Kelly Flanagan storylines. So we're going to do 2 p.m. Pacific time. So join us for that if you want. And you can also leave a voicemail. We have a voicemail number, 401-213-9828. Leave a voicemail. Let me know what you think about all of it. And go to patreon.com slash Dave Neal for extra content. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys.